Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. And this one's going to be on The Maid. This is from Epic Pictures and Dread Central, and it's directed by Lee Thongham. The story follows Joy, who is a maid in this royal house, and she got the job because the maid before her left the house under mysterious circumstances. So now Joy is going to try and find out the mystery behind why the other maid disappeared. Movie came out in 2020, 2021, and it's 102 minutes long. And this is uh, a Japanese movie, and you have to read the subtitles and, you know, that kind of stuff. So if, if right off the bat, if you're not into that, you're probably not going to like this. Right off the bat, this is a really, really good movie. I really like this one a lot. Um, the maid, the previous maid, it's no shock she is dead. It shows it in the trailer and all that kind of stuff. She is incredibly scary looking. I would compare her to my fear of the nun, except uh, after a while in this movie, you kind of get over her. I'm not over the nun yet. I'm pretty over her though. But it's interesting to see Joy try to find out more about what's going on. You know, what happened to the other the maid's name was Ploy. Uh, with trying to find out what happened to her and, and everything. She's questioning people and everybody gets all weird about it. And then, you know, after she finds out what's going on, the movie turns into this completely different movie. It goes from like a ghost story to like, like a, like an American psycho type of movie. It's like, goes crazy. Uh, it's like two movies in one almost. It's, it's insane how, it goes uh i had such a good time with this not to give anything away but it does turn very 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 bloody and uh holy crap like it's 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 like over the top um the person who played joy i think her name is actually her name is actually ploy she is fantastic i want to see more joy i want to see her as a her own standalone character you know, I want there to be a sequel, a prequel. I want there, I want more joy in my life. She was fantastic. She's super cute, but yet she's got something going on in, you know, she's not all there, but is she, she is all there at the same time. She, she was a fantastic character. So much fun. It's like crazy. I wish I could, I wish this was a spoiler review. I would just let it all out what I really think, you know, like without, you know, censoring it. The movie looked fantastic and it sounded really good. Like the setting and everything, the way that people, everybody did a great job in this. Like there's not anybody in this movie that did, wasn't like, you know, good at acting. Like they all did a fantastic job. And Joy's other job is also to, besides being a maid, uh, is to take care of the, you know, the owners to take care of well, what they, her masters is to take care of the daughter and the daughter has this like problem. And, um, you know, she, she says she sees things and all that kind of stuff. So they treat it as something's wrong with her brain, but then joy starts seeing the same thing. So it's like, maybe she's not, you know, crazy after all, when the whole story gets revealed and, you know, things, come to light and then the way it ends it's fantastic fantastic i really liked it there was maybe maybe there, i don't want to say it but there's something in the movie that i think could have been left out it makes no sense and it never happens again later on and again i can't say what it is um but it's something in the very beginning and i'm thinking like why they even have that in there make they don't need that in there but whatever um I think if, if you know what I'm talking about, maybe you can excuse it you know, or maybe you'll think the same thing. Like, yeah, they could have left that out. The special features on here, there's only like three things. There's, um, one deleted scene and I watched the deleted scene. And it's like, I don't really get why they deleted it. I mean, I, I sort of do, but like, it really didn't like ruin anything. I don't know. And then there's like the trailer for this and then other trailers for dread central and that's it there's nothing much on here but you don't really i don't know i guess i would have liked to see interviews and stuff but 
the movie itself was just really, really good. I really, really like this one. Um, definitely probably one of the best ones that Dread Central's put out in a long time. Um, not saying that other ones aren't, aren't, are bad or anything. Um, but, uh, this one's definitely a good one. This is one that I think a lot of people would like, you know, um, it's not overly scary. It's, it's jump scares and stuff. There's freaky moments. But other than that, I think a lot of people are going to like this movie. I think you should give it a watch. Um, if you get a chance, you know, check it out. It's not rated and it is all region. So, you know, check it out. And, you know, that's all I'm going to say about it. Except, I mean, there's nothing inside. There's no reversible cover or anything. And there's a, the Blu-ray here. And it says, Dark Secrets Serve No One. So... There you go. But uh yeah, there's nothing really going on here. Pretty it's pretty uh the it kind of leaves a mis mystery to it. Um and then maybe when you watch the movie you're like, "Oh, okay, I see that now." But other than that, uh I definitely think a lot of people will like this movie. I definitely would uh, I definitely liked it and I think it has rewatchability. Um so yeah, there's that. But that's all I'm going to say. So if you could, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Follow me on any one of the social media links in the description box below. If you're interested in this movie, I'll put a link below where you can purchase it. I'll also put the link below for the trailer. But like I always say, proceed with caution. It may contain spoilers. Well, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.